The town of Lowestoft was once a thriving hub for all things fishing, but according to activists, this is no longer the case. I'm here at BFP Easton, which runs the Lowestoft fish market. Once, this auction would have been filled with bidders eager to share in the spoils of the fleet's catch. In the 70s, around 150 vessels would sail from here, returning just after sunset to sell their catch. But now, under 15 vessels remain. Many in this dwindling industry blame the European Union due to the introduction of fishing quotas and equal access to British waters for all member states. Most people who are involved in fishing to vote to leave Europe because what the Europe had done to their industry has decimated this town. That's decimated every fishing town in the UK as far as I know. There are fears that British waters will be used as a political bargaining chip during negotiations for a wider free trade deal with the EU. Once we leave the EU, we can take full control of our waters and the fish within it. We can create thousands of jobs. There's a prime time now that we must be strong and leave the EU with a no deal. We do not need to be part of that outfit over there. With campaigners across the industry pushing for a revival of our diminishing fishing heritage, Brexit seems to be gaining increased support in many coastal towns across the UK. But the question remains whether the 29th of March will mean the proverbial sunrise or sunset over the British fishing industry. Jordan Yallop, LSJ News, Lowestoft.